Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and this is my first kill a kit video. I have successfully killed my planetarium kit, which is the Studio Calico kit from May 2013. So I wanted to show you the layouts that I made since I started this challenge and also show you uh, what products I have left and what I plan on doing with them from the kit. So I have six layouts that I made when I decided to really start making a big effort to just kill my kits and get and uh, just work through all my product. So this is the first one that I made. Um, it's called Spouse of the Year. It's a little award that I got um, at my husband's last squadron. Um, so it, I used um, these real, two really cool uh, flare badges from, um, from, oh gosh, Marcy Penner, um, Hello Forever. Yes, Hello Forever. Uh, those were exclusive to the kit, so I used those. They say Be and Cool, and so I put them together to say Be Cool because when I got this award, I was kind of taken aback, and I was uh, trying to be cool, trying to be cool for um, for the audience there. <laughs> um, and I used these resin stars, which I'm not a huge fan of them just because they're very bulky, and I don't like a ton of bulk, but um, they worked here, So I and I ended up, I did use all of them that came in the kit. And um, this tag right here, remember that library tag that I used on my last layout? Uh, this was the top of it. I had actually uh, cut it off because I just wanted that little detail there without having a huge thing behind it cover it up. And uh, that's just about it. These um, teal letters are from Heidi Swap. I don't think I mentioned that in um, in my other video, but those are Heidi Swap, and I love them. Um, I use. I used up most of that package. I'll show you um, how I used up a majority of them here in a second. Um, so there's that, and I this is another one of those banner clips that came. I think two of them came in the kit, so I used both of those up. And I just added that to the little uh, letter that uh, my husband's commander had written to me um, along with the award. And that is the first layout. The second layout is called Pigtails and Carnaps, <laughs> and it's a super cute picture of my daughters. Uh, we went to an air show, and they were just worn out, and they both had pigtails in, and they were both sleeping in the car, so I had to snap a picture. Uh, this background paper is, oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. It is from the Dear Lizzie Lucky Charm line, and oh my gosh, it's it has a little script, and it, you know, it's love you to the stars and back, and just over and over, and oh. I want all of that. <laughs> I want all the paper. Um, but I I did some clusters. They each have like a little cork arrow and, a, and these resin stars again and some colored brads and gold sequins. I did a little bit of misting. You can't see it too much, but um, just a teeny tiny detail. I used the Heidi Swap Gold Lame and I also used uh, Studio Calico, um, the Calico White in that. And that is that one. Oh, and the Love You More, I had someone ask me about that when I put this on the Nicole Jones 911 Facebook page. They asked where I got that. That is actually a branding strip from this paper, from the Dear Lizzie paper. And uh, it just said Love You More across the whole thing, so I cut that up and, um, and used that as a little embellishment. Super cute. This next one is one of my daughter's about the same age, just two different years, and they are both wearing these little Cinderella glass slippers. Um, we still have these glass slippers, actually. <laughs> they still wear them every once in a while. My little one can still fit in those. Um, but I wanted to document, I have a cup. I actually have an album um, of stuff that compares the two of them at around the same age and what they look like and what they were doing and things like that. So this is gonna go into that album. Um, and I love this background paper. I wish I knew exactly who made it. I don't, I, it might be crepe paper. I'm pretty positive, but they have little chevron-y heart looking things. Super cute, very girly. And everything in here is from the kit except for the alphas. Those I had to get from my sash just because I wanted to make sure I used a pink alpha and there was not one of that. Um, and this bow is from Freckled Fawn from one of my Freckled Fawn kits. And this flare badge is from Kelly Perky um, from a class I took of hers over at Studio Calico. And these uh, glittery stars are also from Freckled Fawn from a kit. So not everything is from a <laughs> planetarium, uh, but most of it is. So there is that one. 
And this is the last one that I did without a process video. And this is where I used up these alphabets. Um, I wanted to do a page about my older daughter. Her name is Kaylin. I, I realize I have not told you my daughter's names. My older daughter's name is Kaylin. She's six. And my younger daughter's name is Layla. And she just turned three. Um, I wanted to do a picture of Kaylin because she has started learning to read and one day she asked me if she could read me a full book and I was like yeah sure you know just not expecting her to be able to actually read the entire thing but no she read the entire thing and I was just like flabbergasted <laughs> um, so I wanted to do a picture of that so this is her reading the book to me and then this is her reading the same book to my husband a couple of days later so I just snapped little pictures and um, I really wanted to use these alphas because they are gorgeous I love them but when you start using them a lot, you really start running out of letters to use. So um, it was getting difficult to make any actual words. So instead of trying to make words anymore, I went ahead and just uh, spread them out over this, this pattern paper and just kind of put them in randomly, made them fit, and just stuck them down so it, it just looks like a bunch of letters scattered around. Um, like it it kind of ties in with the reading, I guess. And I put little colored brads in here. Uh, just to tie in the rest of the colors on the page as well. And I used a six for her age, a little geotag. Uh, this right here says, hey there sunshine. That was from the Brad packet as well. I just didn't use a Brad with it. And I used these cork arrows on here. And gold sequins. And uh, this Brad says hi. So the title is hi I'm reading. And um, I thought that was pretty cute. And I used uh, the love you. Um, which was the same branding strip from the other one, just didn't have the more on it. And there's that one. And then this was my first process video that I have on there. Nothing's changed on that. That's Layla right there with her little pouty lip. She has the best pouty face. Seriously, it's amazing. And this is the one that killed my kit. And this is the one that uh, my camera cut off before I was able to finish telling you exactly what I did, um, but I, I added the the black outline with my Sharpie and then just some mist splatters. That's all I did that wasn't included on the video. So I got all that done. So if you'd like to see these two process videos, uh, just look back on my channel. They're the only two process videos on there as of right now. So that kit is officially killed. And here's what I have uh, left over. Let me see if I can do this gracefully. So this is the pattern paper that I have left. Like literally, <laughs> this is what I have left. <laughs> this is Amy Tangerine from her Yes Please line. The side is an orange kind of grid-like and then these are cut aparts, um, which are cute. I, I would probably use these cut aparts um, for either journaling or layering or something like that. So that will go in my stash. Uh, these two little pieces, they're tiny, but they're cute. So I'll probably just keep these on my desk and um, just use them up in something quickly. Uh, this is the cardstock. This is navy cardstock, uh, pink cardstock, and white cardstock. This is all from American Crafts from the kit and those will just go into my scraps pile to be used. Um, I have two stamps in here. I don't think the kit came with two stamps. Not that I remember. Um, but they were in there, so <laughs> I don't know. This is the only one I even used. I used that camera and then I used this a few times, but the clouds are cute, so I'll use those. Um, this one I've used once The because when you stop and look around, this life is pretty amazing. I'm not big on the banners, so I don't know if I'll use those or not. So I'll probably throw them in my stash. I, just, I don't know how often I would actually pull it out to use it, though it's pretty specific. So there's those. Um, I have this anchor brad left, which will go, brad, um, flare, <laughs> that will go uh, with my other flare. I actually have an idea for using anchors, and I have two little anchor badges that I may, I might do that, um, just something with my husband, so we'll see about that. But I'm going to stick that over there right now because it's right there. Uh, this is the only brad I have left on here. It says Think Happy, and it has little ribbons down here. Um, I may use this in my project life, like if there's like a bad week or something, like I'm having a bad day or something, just think happy, think happy thoughts. So I'll, def I'll definitely use that, but I used everything else, so that's good. These cork that I still love, I will use these for sure. Um, I have used them on other projects besides what was in this kit, but these will, 
these will all definitely get used up no problem and I have this washi uh, from basic gray hipster line and they're just washi strips um, these are all strips these are banners actually that look like this they have the two notches uh, six of those and then these in the middle are different shapes punched out There's stars that I use there's also um, looks like triangles they're hard to see they're really hard to see even without a camera <laughs> so you kind of have to peel them up and see but I think there's some geotags in there and some circles and stuff so um, I may try to use that up as well it might take me a while but um, as long as I have the right layout with the right colors and stuff and I have this bag of wood veneer letters from Studio Calico, which are really awesome as long as I can get words out of them. <laughs> I'm starting to run out. Like, I don't have any S's. I don't have any T's. Um, things like that. So I'm, I'm kind of starting to run out of a little bit of words or a little bit of uh, letters. But I'll put them in with my other wood veneer. I have more alphas in there as well. So I could even mix and match uh, different fonts and stuff with the wood veneer. So I'm going to definitely hang on to those. And these are the Heidi Swap teal letters, and this is all I have left. Um, it's mostly numbers, <laughs> just a couple random letters. Um, I started out, when I have packages like this, um, when I started using them, I would cross out what I used so that I knew what was in there. And then when I went crazy on that last one with the reading one, I was like, um, I'm not going to worry about that because it's almost done anyway. It's, it was a lot easier to look through. It's literally mostly numbers. Um, and there's a little, whoops little at sign which is cute so I'll, I'll definitely use these up somehow um, even if it's just numbers I'll I'll figure something out so I do love those letters though they are nice and oops sorry hit the camera there last piece there are these little mini alphas which are from glitz design teeny alphas in white <laughs> and uh, yeah they're super cute and I'll use them I'll probably put them with my project life stuff because uh, that's where I use most of little uh, it's great for using little stuff in there and that is it so that's what I have left very happy to have challenged myself to get rid of that this is my next journey journey huh see how see how I did that okay this is my next kit it's going to be roundabout which is from June 2013 from Studio Calico so this is what I'm going to be working with next and what I've been doing since I'm only trying to mainly just use the kit with a little bit for my stash here and there. I'm looking at the entire kit first, seeing what the colors are, what the themes are. This is definitely travel themed, so I may see if I have any pictures that I printed that are from anywhere that we traveled and um, kind of pick pictures from there. So I'll pick a set, I'll pick probably five or six sets of pictures that I want to try to use. And this one I think I'm going to have to get into my stash a bit because there's not a ton of embellishments like there there is this chipboard stuff here but then there's stars and some twine and then like two other things so um depending on how much i want to put on my page i may have to get into my sash a little bit more which is where my freckled fawn will uh come in because those are embellishments only so um i am going to get started on this and hopefully get a layout up here uh i'm going to try to get maybe two or three layouts done this week so i will get those up and running as soon as I possibly can. Thanks so much for joining me and I will see you soon. Bye.